Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Kimmerman from Kimmerman Gunplus Studio and today I have here a model kit from Oldi which came from the Chinese mecha anime Kainar as a tap frontier and this is none other than the advanced precursor Kainar so this is the upgraded model of the precursor Kainar and I built that uh, model six months ago and it's like um, a kit that has a resemblance with the Gundam X, yeah, as much as I remember. And uh, I found this kit in Shopee Thailand. And to be honest, I don't like to buy this, but when I saw the design from the seller, I got convinced in buying it and uh, I'm very happy to uh, receive it unfortunately the box has so many dents and there is this uh, tear big tear from uh, the box when I received it anyway let's check this oldie advanced precursor Kainar which came from the anime series Acid Up Frontier Kainar and let's build this kit The box art here shows the model, the advanced precursor Kainar uh, wielding his uh, beam rifle and we have here the uh, bigger picture to see his face and it's very nice. It's, yeah, it has a mohawk design here and um, it's just like a different colored version of uh, the precursor Kainar which I owned and built six months ago and you can see here it's number 17 so this is the 17th model from their uh, line from the all the uh, mecha model company and it says here a type uh, 1100 so it's like the master grade uh, version for the oldie kit and there you can see it a type advance 100 100 there we can see advanced precursor 1 100 kainar 1 100 again scale model as that found here and unfortunately the box has a big dent here and there's this big uh, tear from the box but uh, to be honest I am not that critical with the, the box art and box designs because as a matter of fact after I build this kit I'll just throw the box away and inside of the box you can see some uh, Chinese character here and there on the other side of the box we can see the front view and the rear view of the kit um, what interests me the most here and the design is it breaks the monotonous color of uh, the blue white and some orange uh, design on the previous model of this kit it I much like the color silhouette of this kit because it looks very um, high-tech and it's not that toyish to me so the design breaks the toyish uh, silhouette from the previous model so on the other side of the box we can see uh, the design of the back and there's this additional verniers near the shoulder and uh, there, there are the gimmicks you can see uh, the model wielding his beam rifle in the back of the box we can see here a black and white silhouette print out for the Kainar so it's just like the front view box art but this is black and white there we can see the logo of Oldi so this is a this an original company and cannot categorize this kit as a bootleg because it's a original 
anime series from China and all these a known brand for on making toy and model kits in China also so let's uh, open the box and then see what's the content inside so if we open it this is what we'll see there are two manuals for this kit and uh, this one is for the main uh, body of the kit so we can see some explanation here and uh, this is the um, predecessor of uh, the advanced precursor which is the precursor Kynar so this is its predecessor it's the first from the model kit line and there you can see how to build this so it's like going back to scratch I'll build this uh, kit just like the previous one I built so it's not that hard to build because uh, I think I finished the previous model of this the precursor it's like about three hours straight so it's a smooth build there are no fitting issues and there in the other manual we can see the installment like the beam shields how to build the beam shields and uh, there we have the uh, verniers I think this, uh, no this is the new shoulder unit I think yep it says here the new shoulder unit so we have two sets of shoulders for this kit and uh, for the legs there are additional uh, leg parts to be applied here and for the waist there are additional uh, installment for the waist and the backpack unit so we have uh, this one the new verniers and there we have new set of rifle new set of gun here for the kit and uh, what fascinates me here is that the kit has a bazooka very nice and uh, there we have a stand for the shield the beam shield okay so let's uh, check the packs we have gray metallic gray packs or parts here for the guns there we have uh, black runners clear red runners uh, white runners we got here polycaps and uh, beam saber effect parts which is color pink we have here a shiny red colored parts for I think this one for the psycho frame uh, pieces we have uh, white parts here we have uh, metallic gray parts for the gun the rifles and we have uh, polycaps here again we have clear effect parts here for the shield the beam shields and uh, we have stand here for this uh, shield and we got white parts another white parts black parts we got dry transfer eagles we got white parts here metallic gray parts another metallic gray parts inner frame and uh, yeah the inner frame are composed of metallic gray parts and finally we got here um, black runners for the backpack so as always let's have a quick order review before we build the kit 
and we go here to the metallic gray parts which are uh, runner J so these are inner frames and uh, the hand parts the um, articulated hand parts yep. we have here runner uh, H so this is for the gun and uh, side skirt armor we have here matted colored black which is runner P so I like the texture of this plastic because it's like it has a rubbery feel on the surface and uh, the color is matted black very nice and we got here uh, spray painted red colored runners for I think this one for the uh, cycle frame parts something like that and uh, we got here uh, red parts also they are almost the same so this is ah no this is runner R and this is runner D so this is uh, a clear red colored plastic okay so we got here runner E for you know, black uh, armor pieces we got here runner F for um, black armor pieces also and I think we have the variation of this so it's up to you if you want to choose the matted colored one and this uh, shiny not matted colored one so you have the choice for this kit it's very nice and we got here runner O for white runners here or white parts and this is also matted white we have clear red parts here for the shield effect parts we got the poly caps runner K and another runner K so we have two sets of runner K here for the poly caps we got runner V for the guns and uh, we got runner C a matted colored white runner for the runner A so we got another matted white color for runner N yep so these are the white runners let's go back here we the white runner so we have runner B so this is a non matted white runner we have runner U here for uh, metallic silver colored parts we got runner T so this is a metallic silver colored parts again runner I for the leg inner frame parts which compose of uh, metallic silver colored runners I think this look this looks pre-painted I don't know if uh, this is being seen in the camera but it looks pre-painted so we have here a metallic silver G runner and finally we got these uh, matted colored parts for the booster which is runner Q we got also the um, dark blue or uh, this black sorry is uh, runner M for the mohawk pieces piece or part and we got two beam saber effect parts for uh, the beam saber so this is uh, light or clear pink color beam saber and we got this dry transfer decals and uh, I told you I, I'm not interested in applying these decals to my kit anyway thank you very much for watching this unboxing of this advanced precursor Kainar 1 100 scale from the anime series or mecha anime series 
as is that frontier Kainar from China which is built by the oldie company or oldie plastic model company so this is Kimberman from Kimberman Gunpla Studio saying goodbye God bless take care of Vidison Masalama Palam sa inyong lahat